killing time by storytelling while riding our way home. My friend used to say, my friend in the Philippines used to say that um, one dollar is the same as one peso. Well, I don't think so. What can your one peso buy in the Philippines? Your one peso can buy one Max candy or snow bear, whatever kind of candy. So that's one candy for one peso. Here, your one dollar, you can buy a lot of candies. Uh, let's say you have three dollars. Three dollars and three pesos, uh, they are not the same in value. Okay? Because my friend said that the only differ in the name is the value that counts what it can buy. Um, my friend also said here that every time she buys, she converts the price into Philippine pesos. For example, we bought maybe it was a half a dozen honey of plates. I think it was half dozen of plates and then there were two two more. Um, so it cost us three dollars there at a garage sale. Three dollars. So if you convert that into Philippine pesos, it would cost something like let's just say 115 pesos. Okay. But it is still cheap because you cannot buy uh, that kind of those kind those kinds of dishes of plates for 115 pesos. You only convert your dollars if you are going to buy those dollars in the Philippines, you convert that into Philippine money. But if you are going to spend your dollars here in Canada, then you shouldn't be thinking of its value in Philippine money. You should only be thinking of its value here, what it can buy you, and how long are you going to work for it uh, to be able to spend that amount of money so when for example you can buy you can buy uh, bread which will be enough for the for the whole family we say the five of us bread for three dollars and three dollars if you're going to think about it for how long you're going to work for it maybe you'll only be working um, to be able to earn three dollars maybe you'll only be working for less than an hour to earn three dollars so if you um, when I was working in the Philippines, because yeah, I will be talking about my work because I am familiar with it. Um, about my wage, uh, let's just say, of course it has changed already because of the increase. Let's just say when I was teaching, I was earning maybe, um, this is not exact, this may not be exact maybe I was earning 75 pesos per hour so what can 75 pesos buy you in the Philippines if you go to a restaurant maybe you can buy uh, one serving of bulalo and that's only good for one person or maybe two so no rice yet so it's not enough it's only for one person or two it's not enough for the whole family so you can just imagine your one one day's salary what it will buy you so so your one day salary would be less than a thousand say six more than 600 to 700 it depends on your position okay so 
is not really enough for for the whole family so you really have to be on a tight budget to for the food alone because 700 pesos is just for the food alone but of course it, it depends on 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 your consumption if you eat a lot and how many you are but 700 you have to be on a tight budget okay, so what about the other expenses the electric bills internet so one month salary is not enough no wonder no wonder um, life is really is really hard in the Philippines so that's why uh, people in the, in the Philippines for as long as they have the opportunity they like to come to western countries to look for greener pasture Philippines when the five of us would go to a restaurant to celebrate a birthday or something or an anniversary so we'd go to a restaurant so the five of us the whole family our total expenses would amount to more than a thousand so that would be the equivalent of uh, my two day salary so by when you eat in a restaurant in the Philippines you have to work hard for two days to be able to afford to uh, for your family to eat at the restaurant but here um, your family can go to a restaurant and spend only your one hour's wage but of course it depends on your consumption if you eat too much maybe two hours or three hours but our family we don't eat too much just enough so one dollars wage is enough for us to eat in a restaurant yeah yeah actually if we spend more than more than two hours is wage we have a take home you know it's a Filipino culture because it's um, I don't like to leave food because it's still uh, we paid for it so I wrap them up and then put it in my bag and then my son or my my husband still is it at home sometimes for dinner and until breakfast the next day so that's it because we don't eat a lot we still have to learn how to con consume all that we order in the restaurant we cannot consume them all so we have to to take them at home